This is so cool. This video is about us going out to a little island in the San Juans and checking out this uh, Fiat mover, we call it. Um, it it's it's going to be a project we do here at Marine Tech. We're going to bring it to Marine Tech and do a documentary about this powered barge. Um, Chris Moss is, is the designer and builder, and he does a lot of very interesting things. Retired boat builder. Um, he's been taking um, and building boats out of recycled materials to keep them out of the dumps. He's been doing things like this, Professional Boat Builder Magazine, F number 194. Um, Dieter, who's our, he's the editor, West Coast, and he's done multiple interviews with Chris. This is a foiling Hobie Cat with uh, Chevy Volt batteries that does 12 knots electric power. I mean, how cool is that? He does fun. This was to go get ice cream at 12 knots at the local island. <clears throat> so the video, you'll get to see this thing. Uh, next fall, it'll come back to Marine Tech. We're going to do a bunch of uh, projects with it. Like I said, the documentary. Here's what he decided to do. He lives on an island with no ferry service, no grocery store. He decided he was going to build a powered barge that the automobile would power to go two and a half miles to the next island to get groceries. So he and his wife could back, they chose an electric Fiat, back it into this powered barge, use the front tires on the Fiat to spin a drive, which is you'll see is a drive shaft and a hydraulic powered thing, put the ramp up, drive it into the ocean, drive it the two and a half miles, pull it up onto the next beach, into the parking lot, drop the front, go get his groceries without getting in or out of the car. And he is such a great guy. We love what he's doing. So check out this video of our trip and stay tuned next fall when we tow that barge back here to Marine Tech and do a full on investigation of this thing. It is so cool. And, uh... <laughs> exactly. It's a Fiat barge. Something about a free boat, Mike. That's what I know. Side trip. Let's go exploring. Well, I think we should look. We should look. What's the story so, with this? What's the story? So yeah, hi, my name is Dieter Leubner. I'm uh, editor at large as Professional Boat Builder magazine. And I was hitching Which a ride. all of our students read and our viewers should read. Professional yes. Boat, yeah. spectacular. So thank oh, you for your work. Great. Thank you, yeah, we are uh, known for our humor and uh, <laughs> for, for our risque pictures. So if you are yes. for that, uh, please yes. uh, subscribe. It's uh, for free for anybody in the boat building. So I was uh, hitching a ride with these two gentlemen uh, to one of my favorite spots in the San Juan Islands, which is Center Island, where uh, a gentleman by the name of Chris Moss lives. And Chris has given us uh, many moments of wonder. Um, some of you might remember him. We covered his uh, electric foiling Hobie Cat. And today we went to see uh, the Fiat Barge, which is an interesting contraption that he came up with. It is a amphibious barge that uh, he built uh, to be uh, transporting and being propulsed by an electric Fiat 500. Uh, I don't know if I can go into any more detail, but it is worth watching. All right, I think we should go check it out. When you met, you had me with an electric powered car on a powered barge. Let's go check this thing out. Made out of wood. Wood could possibly go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go check it out. Thanks. All right. The so the, the, the first Fiat thing gotta do mover is lift the back end up, and then if you guys could pull those blocks out of there, I will. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's make this go. Think through everything. And that's it. Two steering toggles. <laughs> steering toggles and hydraulics. So this is the electric Fiat, and it spins. Uh, down here, that's going to make our power, which is rotating a drive shaft all the way back here, which will power the outdrive and the hydraulic pump somewhere midship, you said, Chris, yeah. down in there yeah. off of the drive shaft. I'm going to raise the ramp up right now. Okay. Important 
start blocks the out. Okay. Nothing smooth. <laughs> now we switch. We gotta switch from the uh, hydraulic cylinders to the hub motors. To the hub motors. This. What does it have for a parking brake? You're gonna run Dieter over down there? Yeah, that'll, that'll work. <laughs> Just stop me when I get to the end there, Dieter. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's what it looks like she does, yeah. It's got, yeah, it's got it's, a little it's, rumbly. It's got a lot of things going on. And there's there. a lot of things going on in there. And I don't know if the... If the uh, you want to turn your back wheels yeah, up a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Easy. There you go. All right. You can see the wood. That's all I want you to see. Sorry about that. <laughs> Are we clearing that? You're yeah, clear we're clear now. Side. Yeah, go on back. Proof of concept, you did it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, this one's part of the deal now. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's in a good spot. I just don't well, know. I've still got to slide back. So, I mean, I'll keep. Let's see. Let me just go. take it up just a scotia. We'll pull them out here. All right, we're clear. Now you can set her clear. down. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go down to the front end. The kneeling barge. The kneeling barge, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, Art's getting underneath here. Then when you get into the ocean, you just kick in the old Alpha 1 here, put her in forward and away you go. Two hydraulic packs, one for the steering of the IO, other ones for steering the back wheels. It's got to be a fun to drive down the road with that rear steering. <laughs> it's like a wheelbarrow. 